Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for Deck of Panning. Deck of Panning is a project created by Emily from Emily and Max. It is based on a booktubers game involving a game board, a deck of cards, and the game of chance. We are working with five products at a time in this project. We can set whatever goal we want for the products and it's rolling. So once we meet that goal, it rolls out of the project and we could roll something new in by drawing a new card from our deck and seeing what the prompt is on the game board that Emily recreates month after month for us, which makes this game so much fun. I will have Emily's channel linked in the description box down below. And uh, if you want to see other people that are doing this project, check out the hashtag Deck of Panning. And that's my intro. It has been close to two months since I've posted the introduction for this video, um, but this is technically my first update. We are starting 2024 off the same as we ended 2023. I am slacking, I'm struggling, I'm spending more time reading books than doing other things, and it shows. I also did get a little cold uh, a couple weeks ago. I filmed three videos in a row, which are the last three videos you will see on my channel. And then I, while I was, it actually hit me that day, like literally while I was filming that video, while I was filming those videos, I was coughing like uncontrollably and I was like, that's weird. Like what is going on? And I was, I had like a fever and the chills by that night. It was fine. I got over it, but I had a lingering cough for like two weeks. So I've been laying low. I haven't been filming a lot. It feels kind of weird to have the camera back on me again, but um, I feel great. I'm on my spring break. Today is day two of spring break. It is Sunday. I don't know when this video is going up, but I have the next seven days off of work. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to have seven days off of work. I'm going to fix my whole life and I'm going to read like 20 books and I'm going to catch up on filming and I'm going to catch up on Instagram and I'm just going to fix my whole life and I cannot wait because my house is a mess and my life is a mess. But anyways, let me go over what the products are in this project and what I've done with them. The first card that I drew in this project at the introduction was the Two of Diamonds, and the prompt for that at that time was Whole Collection Roulette. I love that prompt. It is a super fun prompt because what could be more random? I use my Instagram inventory posts and narrow it down, and the product I ended up choosing through that roulette was this e.l.f. Sh uh, waterproof shadow liner, which I don't know if I'd ever used before. It's been sitting in my little eyeshadow stick cup forever and I finally drew it and I'm so excited. I set the goal of only using it 20 times, which is super manageable. I have used it 11 times. I am wearing it in my waterline today. I do have, that has been the preferred way for me to use this. Um, although I am hoping to use it as an all over eyeshadow base at some point, I just haven't been able to make that happen yet. I am wearing it on my, um, the outer part of my upper lash line as well as like a liner, which is why you can see my eyeshadow all over the tip. Um, it doesn't look that much different than it did. I've dulled down the tip a little bit, but like I said, I've only used it 11 times and mostly it was in my waterline. This doesn't stay in my waterline as good as like the, um, Avon shadow sticks or like my eyeliner that I'm actually working on in another project. This um, Laura Geller incredible waterproof gel eyeliner. This really stays in my waterline much better than this does, but this isn't bad either. It's not as good as that, but it's not bad. So I have used it 11 times and I need to use it nine more times before I meet my goal. Hopefully I could do that by the next update but I have really been all over the place as far as eyeliners go uh, since the start of this year and since the start of so many new projects with so many new products. The next card that I drew was the Seven of Clubs and the prompt at that time was Influenced. And I chose this matte lipstick from Ulta Beauty in collaboration with Melissa Michelle. She was a YouTuber that I was really obsessed with for a long time. I still like her, but I, I have gotten away from like the big time YouTube, subscri subscribing to the big time YouTubers. I'm still subscribed to Raw Beauty Christy. I'm still subscribed to Leanne Says, but those are like the only two big time YouTubers that I'm still subscribed to. Basically, oh, and I'm still subscribed to... Um, Kathleen Lights and Emily Noel. 
that's it. Those four are like the only big ones. Everybody else I'm subscribed to is a little guy like me, a smaller YouTuber who is probably a project panner or just a makeup enthusiast. And so I'm I'm really into watching the little guys for the most part, but I loved Melissa Michelle's content for a long time. And when she came out with this collaboration with Ulta several years ago, I jumped on it. I bought um, an entire, I think it might've come as a kit, to be honest. I don't think I bought this separately. I think this came as part of the like set with an eyeshadow palette and this lipstick and an eyeliner. Either way, I've had this for years and I really haven't used it much at all. So I set the goal of using this 25 times, right? Yes. I set the goal of using this 25 times and I am up to 13 uses so far. So I'm kind of at the halfway mark, a little bit past the halfway mark. It is a lipstick I'm wearing today. It is a matte lipstick, so I do tend to prefer to put something a little bit glossy on top of it. It does wear well on its own, but I'm just not into a matte lipstick look for the most part. So it's not that there's a problem with the matte lipstick, it's just personal preference. So I do have a little bit of gloss on top of it, but this is a beautiful shade. I've really been enjoying it. I feel like it's um, shrunk a little bit in the tube, which, you know, I'm not surprised. I've had this for literal years but it's kind of a sign that I should probably use this up. It is a pretty skinny little lipstick, so I feel like it's not too unreasonable to possibly put this in a project to use it up. But like I said, my goal for this in this for this product in this project is to use it 25 times. That's it rolled all the way down. So considering this was pretty much brand new, I feel like I am getting through it. Let me roll it all the way up now. There's still a lot left. It, it's definitely going to survive this project and it will have to go. That's it rolled all the way up. So there's the packaging right there. I love it when the product matches the packaging perfectly. It's so cool. But yeah, there will still be plenty of product left once I get to 25 uses. But it, I would not mind at all finding another product to put this into afterwards and keep on working on it. I haven't looked into this product, but I would be absolutely shocked if it's still available. Um... I have a feeling that was like a special like release that was limited edition, but this has been really, really lovely. And it does have a shade name, Melissa Michelle Dainty. It's a really flattering pink. I The lip gloss I have on top of it kind of um, muted it a little bit, but it is a gorgeous, very wearable, very wearable shade. I like it a lot. Okay, the next card that I drew was the Five of Hearts and the prompt for that was the letter E. And I went with this Essie nail polish. The shade is called On a Silver Platter. This is a really fun shade. It, it literally looks like that on the nails. Two coats and your nails will look like that. It's got that kind of golden-y glitter with the blue shimmers running through it. It is super fun. My goal is just to use this five times and I've only used it once. So this is probably gonna be in this project for like most of the year, but I'm still glad I'm working on it and I'm gonna enjoy it. I just, I haven't been painting my nails at all for the last month and a half or so. I've fallen off the wagon once again and I need to get back in the routine of painting my nails. You guys know I go through these phases where I'm painting my nails every week and loving it and then boom I go like three months without painting my nails at all. But um, spring is one of those times like yeah I'm very motivated. I love pastel so I want to put all the pastel polishes on my nails. Like I'm really craving a pastel blue this moment but I didn't want to stop to paint my nails before filming because everybody's out of the house so I had to film first but maybe I will do a pastel blue this week we'll see anyways my goal is to use this five times and I've only used it once so far the next card I drew was the king of diamonds and the prompt was hit a pan my favorite thing to hit a pan on is color pop super shock shadows so I pulled in this super shock shadow in the shade millionaire this was in this deck of panning project at the very tail of 2023, and my goal was to hit pan on it then too, and I didn't do it. So I thought, yep, we're gonna we're gonna go for trying to hit pan again. I am wearing it today all over my eyelid. It is such a stunning shadow. It's a little bit smoky. There are times where I'm just like, that might be a little too much for you know a, a Monday through Friday day at the school, but it is so gorgeous. It is so pretty. I have not hit pan yet. Um, but I've probably used it, I don't know, three times. Not not a lot. I've used it a couple times. There's not really even a dip. 
but I'm every time I use it I'm just like oh man that is stunning but I just feel like it's a little bit smoky and I'm not going to the club that often so if I don't wear it to work I'm not going to wear it but I'm wearing it today and the final card that I drew in this project was the king of clubs and the prompt for that was has a pan which I loved that I had a prompt that was hit a pan and a prompt that is has a pan um The product that I chose that has a pan is this Revlon Single Eyeshadow right here. Uh, I have been using this as a face highlight. It is a little bit intense, which is funny because a lot of times when I'm putting it on, I don't feel like it shows up at all. Like, I don't really see it, but like, it, it's there. It's definitely there. Um, I haven't really been using it as an eyeshadow. I have been only using it as a face highlight. I will throw up a picture of where this was at the introduction. I can't really tell if I've made any progress or not. Hopefully the pan has expanded a little bit somewhere, but it's hard to say um, just going by memory. This is not the only highlighter I'm currently working on. I have a highlighter in my Panners Pan project that I'm also trying to show some love to but I'm pretty much only going back and forth between this highlighter and that highlighter. There are times where I'm working on like five highlighters at a time. At least last year, there was a time when I was working on five highlighters at a time. That was highly unreasonable. Um, two highlighters is much more manageable. But um, my goal for this highlighter slash eyeshadow in this project is to finish it. Um, and so this is probably going to stay in this project all year long. We'll see if I could finish it by the end of the project in December, but if at least one way or the other, I'm working on it and hopefully I'm making progress towards finishing it. I don't know if I could finish it or not, but a lot of the other products I have in this project have usage goals or my goal is just to hit pan. So this was the one that I'm like, okay, let's go for it. Let's just see if we could finish it. We'll try. It's very white. Can see it from here anyways that is going to be it for my update for deck of panning for this month like i said it's my first update but it's been about two months since i filmed my introduction so hopefully i don't I'm, i feel like i'm jinxing myself by saying it but hopefully i will be on track moving forward i doubt it this update was due four days ago by the way so <laughs> even with it being almost two months late i'm still late I got to stop reading so much, but I'm having way too much fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.